In this lesson, we're going to cover creating a new custom block for your site. Let's imagine that we want to have a quote display in the left sidebar throughout our site. The left sidebar would be the region on the left-hand side of the content area. I'm going to scroll down here. And in our left sidebar right now, we have the search and we have the tools blocks. So we want one more underneath that with a quote. We're going to go ahead and go to Manage, Structure, Block Layout. And here we have a nice big blue button that says Add Custom Block. So we're going to go ahead and click on that because that's what we want to do. We're going to keep this block quite simple. It's going to be a quote. It's also really good to have proper semantic markup. So rather than just putting quote marks around this quote, I'm going to highlight the text and use the Block Quote button right here in the WYSIWYG so that it is marked as a quote and has proper semantic markup. I'm also going to italicize the credit, and I'll use the double dash there. Scrolling down here, I can create a revision on my quote if I want. I'm going to go ahead and click Save so that this block is created. Now that the block exists, I have a little message telling me that this block has been created. I'm able to go ahead and change the settings on this block. We're going to leave the settings as they are. For now, we're also going to leave it in no region at all so that it doesn't display yet. We could choose where this displays right here if we wanted. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and save the block. Now we're back on the block management page, and this particular block is in the disabled region. So it exists as a block, but it won't display anywhere on the site because we haven't placed it in a region. You'll see in the Place Blocks block on the right hand side that under the Custom category, there's now a new block, and it's the one that we just created, Food Quote of the Day. So this would allow us to create another instance of this block if we wanted it to display in multiple places. But for now, we're only interested in placing it in one spot. Under Disabled at the bottom here, I'm going to use the drop down menu here, and I'm going to select Sidebar First. Notice now that the interface changed a little bit and it's disappeared. If I scroll up, then we'll see it. It automatically put itself in the Sidebar First region and it's in a yellow box, so we know that this hasn't saved. I'm going to take the little grabby handle and I'm just going to drag it up and down to lock in its placement or its weight in that list so that it displays as the last item in the sidebar. And now we'll go ahead and save this. I'm going to flip over to Safari where I'm authenticated. I'm going to go ahead and log out here. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so that you can see the quote food quote of the day is now there as a block in the left sidebar. We're going to create one more custom block. The first block that we created, we used our own markup. We wrote the quote into the text field that's provided, and then we used the semantic markup to add block quote to that particular quote. So this time, what I'd like to do is use embed code so that you can see how you might bring in content from a third party tool and have it display on your site. I'm going to head back over to Chrome, and I'm going to go to my Instagram account. And now I'm going to go ahead and find a photo that I might be interested in displaying on my profile page. This is a photo of my son. Down at the bottom right corner of this Instagram image is a more link. I'm going to click on that, and I get embed. And now it gives me text that I can copy. So I'll go ahead and copy that. And now if I go back to our site, I'm going to add a new custom block. We're going to talk about text formats in another lesson. For now, because I'm using embed code, I'm going to change my text format from basic HTML to full HTML. I'm also going to turn off the WYSIWYG here by clicking source. And I'm going to paste the code in here. Now you'll see that there's a lot of markup in there. Don't worry about that if you're not an HTML person because this is the embed code coming from the third party tool. And it needs to look just like this. You don't want to edit it at all. I'm going to give this a block description, which is also the title of the block, which we may or may not display. But we need a block description so that we can identify what the block is when we're looking at the block management page. I'll just say Rain's Instagram photo. And now I'll go ahead and save this. 
Now I have various settings that I can choose, and we're going to skip those and go over them in another lesson. But I will click Save Block here. So now this block is available, it's disabled, and I can go ahead and place it into a region. I'm going to put it into the left sidebar. Again, it's yellow because it's not saved. Before I scroll back down to save it, I'm just going to force the wait order there. And now I'll scroll down and save. Heading back over to Safari, I'll reload and scroll down. There's my embed code with the picture of my son, as well as an indication of how many likes this particular image has received and how many comments it has. It also has a quick follow button. So this is a really easy way to integrate third-party tools on your site using embed code. I'm going to go back to Chrome. I'm going to scroll down here. In the Place Blocks block on the right-hand side, under the custom header, you now see that there are two blocks available, Food Quote of the Day and Rain's Instagram Photo. So these are two blocks that we have created, and they're available to us as custom blocks. Scrolling up to the top here, there's also this tab that says Custom Block Library, and that's going to show me both of the custom blocks that I've created. And I can also add additional custom blocks here if I want to. So we've just seen how easy it is to create custom blocks, and we've also included text. We know that we can include images and embed code from a third party.